How's it going everybody? Hope y'all are doing well. Real quick video here, just wanted to kind of explain an outline or kind of a mindset, or actually a change in a way that I kind of came up with and created and have been using for a little bit of time. It's time to get it out there, see if other people like it. And that would be METTC. So the military folks like watching this video, you already understand and get it, what METTC is. But for folks that don't understand or what the acronym means, it is a way of creating an operational or, or getting ready for, say, a task that has been brought upon you. It keeps you in line in what you need, like your mission, your enemy, your terrain, troops, time, civilian, and political infrastructure. These are all things that take into effect that you need to be ready to accomplish your mission or your task coming up. So that was the original, still being utilized very heavily in the military as of this day in time. And I wanted to modify it for get home bag, the kind of bug out bag, kind of prepper, or just bugging out in general. So you can use the newer one that I've kind of created for that. So the newer one is slight changes in some of them, but some of them aren't. So right off initially, mission. M did not change, it's still the mission. So for instance, if we have a get home scenario, so I, like say your vehicle breaks down and we have, you know, say it's just completely um, totaled, like an EMP or something went off, without rule of law is going to be setting in. You know, everything electronic is done. I'm just going along with this, just bear with me. So what is your mission in that circumstance? Okay, I can't fix my vehicle. It's, it's not gonna happen. So the mission is to get home to my wife and child. That's my mission now. I am 25 miles away from home. Gotta get A to B. That's my mission, cool. Let's move over to E. So in the original one, it was enemy. What is your enemy? In mine, I have as environment. So what is the environment around you? What are you going to be coming up against? Because the environment, in my opinion, can be a solid enemy of yours. So environment could be facing, you know, cloudy weather, you know, raining. Is it gonna be hot out? It could be negative five degrees or it could be 105 degrees. So your clothing and your gear will have to kind of work around that environment and knowing that your environment can change. Maybe you know the weather upcoming, maybe you don't. You have to pack appropriately. Next, hasn't changed, terrain, they both are terrain. That's the next portion of your movement basis. Between where you're going, where you are and where you're going, what is your terrain aspect? Is there mountains in the way? Do you have streams, do you have a swamp? Do you have other structures, you know, do you have other towns that could possibly be hostile? You want to avoid those? Do you want to go to those? Like, is there a gas station down the corner? Maybe you get some information. All that kind of feeds into the terrain aspect. Next to the T, originally it used to be troops available, but we're, or myself, turned it into tactics. What tactics are you gonna be utilizing along your journey? We just said back here that it is probably without rule of law setting in, like let's just say everything, EMP, nothing electronic works, there's no vehicles, lawless type of society is probably going to set in. So my tactics are moving at night. I have night vision stored in a Faraday cage, so I know my night vision devices are clear, free and clear of being destroyed by the EMP. Now I would test them of course and whatnot, but I'm gonna move at night. That is a tactic that I'm going to use. I'm gonna stay away from people. I'm gonna stay away from large populated areas. Those are tactics that I'm gonna keep in mind. Next is still time, time. Let's just say it's January 1st, 1300. That's when this occurred, I'm way out somewhere. Set a goal of a time. This is the time now at 1300 and I want to be home, so I have to travel 25 miles and I wanna go or be home January 3rd at 09. Set a goal that is reasonable that you can actually accomplish. Granted, things can happen within that time span that might push you back or even get you there earlier, 
but normally how we operate is have a goal in mind and pursue it. If you don't have a goal, you kind of just left open-ended. Next and last is going to be contingency. Originally, it was civilian considerations. Now it is contingency. If you haven't saw one of the videos that I put out previously about the PACE method, which is primary, alternate, contingency, and emergency, these are all plans that you can set up to have backup stuff. This kind of feeds into it. What is your contingency plan? Say this, here's your still your same goal, but maybe some of these other things change along the way. Do you have a contingency plan? Maybe you have to change your entire mission altogether. Be able to circle back around, kind of like um, OODA loop, observe, orient, decide, and act, different military term. Back in the 60s, Lieutenant Colonel what, John Boyd made it, fire pilot, not gonna get into details. Wikipedia, you'll figure it out. Anyways, it was a way to keep looping back around to keep your mind still in the game. Same thing with this, contingency, okay, what am I doing? Reassess and keep doing that over and over again. So, really quick, honestly, wanna just share kind of what I have been using for a little while. Maybe you can incorporate this into your mindset or your bug out or your preps or other things like that. That is my hope. I mean, you can modify this as you see fit. This isn't set in stone. This is something that I kind of theorized and kind of came up with and it works for me. If you find something better that you can plug in and out of here, definitely do it. Show me, throw me or throw it in the comments. Maybe you have another system that works really well for you. I want to hear about it. I imagine people reading the comments do as well. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, kind of talking on the whiteboard more general and whatnot and kind of getting into the details of, you know, mental preparedness or have a plan, definitely hit the like, hit the subscribe. Um, there's a new series I'm thinking about doing, which is neighborhood preparedness or, you know, a neighborhood watch type of thing. Or there's been a lot of stuff going on in the news that like, you know, buildings, businesses and stuff have been harmed by other people. And I have a lot of knowledge on, you know, doing a secure perimeter around your home or your neighborhood. And I was thinking about going into details about it, like how to secure a perimeter, how to put up, you know, specific uh, angles of approach or angles uh, or avenues of approach, different angles, how to do security in and out, all kinds of random stuff. I know I'm going on. If you guys like this kind of stuff, definitely throw in comments, like, subscribe, and there's a lot more stuff coming up. Hope y'all have a great day.